Hey gang, and this weekend we're at a place called the Blackthorn Resort for what's called Lost Treasure Weekend. So a metal detecting event here that actually is occurring. The first part's a natural hunt, and this, you know, later on we're going to do some seated hunts as part of this, and raffles and giveaways that are part of the event. So let's check it out. Here's a 15 to 18. Let's see what we got here. Oh, what's that? Look at that. Smash three ringer. Not what I'd expect to find here. That's a pretty sweet first target right there. So I'm just gonna hop in here real quick and let you know, me and Lisa are having a little competition. I know you remember Lisa from the Lisa Show episode. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. But round one, because it's natural hunt, whoever gets the best find, and then the four seated hunts, whoever gets the best tokens. So on with the show. All right, right here. Nice repeatable 18 to 20. Another faint but deep target. Okay, it's out now. 22. Look at that. What is that? Deep copper, oh, it's a shield. Uh, so it's probably a two cent piece. You can see the shield there. Probably on this side. I think it's a two center. Nice. This one's very, very faint. It's like a shot pistol ball. That's what that is. Too big to be buckshot. This pistol. one's a 14. Probably eight to 10 inches deep. Let's see what we got. There it is. Another, looks like lead cast pistol ball. You can see the casting spur right there with the seam line. Nice. 15, 16. Pretty shallow. I found someone's underwear band. <laughs> That's interesting. Yuck. Yeah, there it is. The button off the uh, off the underwear. <laughs> the snap. This is kind of a coin signal. 26 to 28. I think it's probably clad, but it's in the clad dime range. <laughs> Nicked it a little bit, but this is a lock plate off like a door. Yeah. Look at this old Mercedes SL. It's not gonna, it doesn't have the number on the back. But man, look at that. This is a shallow 23, 24. What do we got? Old uh, <laughs> Sunbeam Grill Master. <laughs> we found where the grill used to be. This is maybe a quarter signal. It's a perfect storm. White said they said it's perfect storm. Oh, there we go. That's kind of neat. A little. Little toy car, indie car, open wheel. Kind of like a dime signal here. 27, 28 ish. Around this old tree. Yeah, shell. Oh, nice. Dude, this thing was on the freaking surface, basically. Look how deep this was. It's a freaking, that's a, what, two or four real? Wow. That's at least a two. It was right here. 
Holy sh he just found a two real. Really? Right, right on the surface. Get out of town. Let me see. Yeah, let me spray it off. 1784. Seventeen eighty four. I'm gonna tell you right now. I think it's a two. Yeah, it's a two real. Two real. Not natural. This is our nighttime seated hunt. So here we are, ready to rock and roll when they pull the trigger. Ooh, spring break. That sounds like one. Let's find out here. Yep. Another token. All right, that's concluded. Let's go cash in our tokens. How many did you get? 100. Not as many as Lisa. Four. Let's go cash them in. What'd you, what numbers you got? That one looks special. I better take that one. All right. Hello, Patrick. Hello. What you got? Two fives, a three, and an eight. Um, a steel penny. <laughs> it is a competition. Two mercs and a Mexican peso. All right. Sweet. Thanks. Let's see what Lisa got. Five mercury dimes, an Indian head penny, a Mexican peso, and we'll round it out with a chunk of junk. So what we have going on right here, this is a seated silver hunt. I think we're using tokens just like last night, and then you cash them in for silver coins. So basically the same thing as last night, but not dark. Everyone's ready. This is what one of them probably sounds like. 29.30, if you look, looks like someone did bury one here, like that. Well, we got five tokens. Lisa, of course, got nine in the second round. So she's having a good laugh at me at the moment. I don't think any of them have picks. <laughs> I got a one, a three, a four, an eight, I'm a, oh no, a 20, and a nine. We have an Indian head, mercury dime, peso, steel penny, and one grab bag. There's a lot of worthless coins in there, and then some good ones. That's probably a worthless one because it's crisp. Yeah. Boom. All right. Was that weedy? No, it's some no, foreign coin. Foreign coin. All right, thank you. Look at this. Shaking hand, nine tokens. Let's go cash them in. We have a V nickel, four mercury dimes. Stop. You want a freaking ring? Stop. <laughs> I hate you. She always finds rings around me. Ooh. And this is a grab bag and a trunk of junk. So All right, so we already have seated hunt number three. I think we're hunting for relics this time. Look at that. You got Dave Wise over there in the brown from the White's field team. Sad about White's. Just went out of business. But uh, let's see what we get. You'll catch us when we're cashing in our token. Well, I got 11 tokens. I got 12. <laughs> Rather than take you guys through the token process again, I'm for this hunt and the next one, I'm just going to blast through me and Lisa's little competition. And uh, at the end, I'll put in what we found. All right, we're lining up for the final hunt. There's some gold coins involved in this one. So same format, tokens, cash them in, catch us on the end. Go. Let's count them out, Lise. Keep on looking in the hand. Oh, no. <laughs> You're looking he weak. Wow. He's looking weak. 11. Oh, that one, does that one count? It's from another hunt. Huh? That's a yellow one. That's from the other hunt. Yeah. Does that count? <laughs> I'm out. Well, let it count anyways. Right. Because I won. <laughs> Ooh. What is that? What? Is that cool? What? Let's wrap up the finds real quick, and I want to go over the natural finds first. My favorite find of the entire hunt by far is the 1784 Two Reals. You saw it, Mexico City men. They get a two cent piece, 44 mag, Civil War three ringer. These three targets right here, this chain, the spoon, and this 1889 Indian. I got, thanks to Jerry Cooper, advanced metal detecting, taking me out to a spot with, uh, we had some success there, it was nice. Pretty ornate. But uh, these finds here are all my seated hunt finds. You can see I've cleaned up pretty good. As I, and I did get this whole Whitman's catalog as well, so. I'll put a picture on the screen of what Lisa found. She hit it way out of the park. She did good. 
this is a great time if you ever have any interest in uh, doing one of these kind of early summer hunts at the Blackthorn Resort. It's going to go on next year, so give them a call or visit their website and sign up before the spots fill. Next week, I'm going to be doing some water hunting at a place called Chautauqua, the Chautauqua Institute on Chautauqua Lake, New York. This is a really cool gated community that's been around since the 1800s, and we're going to do, like I said, some water detecting there, hunting for old relics. So until then, have a great day.